slap, are you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? Ahoy mateys, it's Adam from FWCI. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean number two. What's this one called? The Dead Man's Chest. So is that going to be, I think Davy Jones? It's because Davy Jones's locker is like the ocean. I've heard that referenced across many different things over the years and I don't know, locker, chest, dead man, is Davy Jones dead? I think I'm onto something. If you want a full length version of this reaction, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it for $5 dues a month. I really enjoyed the first movie. Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow is quite the uh, thing to behold. And I just realized as well, I reacted to Michael Bolton's Captain Jack Sparrow song with Lonely Island on the channel months ago. I, I didn't understand anything that was going on in it and I haven't gone back to watch it, but I I've clearly seen Michael Bolton dressed up like Captain Jack Sparrow at some point in my life very recently and I completely forgot about it in the first reaction so there you go this is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I mean the last we saw the last thing we saw was the monkey choosing evil over choosing good that was the last thing we saw but Slightly before that, Captain Jack Sparrow got kind of excused and he's been sort of let go. He can go off and pirate his lights out from now on. He's on the Black Pearl with his crew. Reunited and it feels so good. Will uh, Will has gone full-blown beer baron and he's like, Look at me, Jack Sparrow. I've got a new hat. And uh, I'm here for it. I like Musketeer Will. Uh, Kira Knightley's character, what was her name again? I can't remember. But she uh, she ended up with Will in the end, which was a nice uh, twist. I found that character to be a little bit... Um, sometimes she annoyed me. And people in the comments were not at all happy <laughs> that I was a bit annoyed by that character. But we've got a whole new movie now. So let's see what is in store for me and Kira Knightley in this movie. Just to be clear, I liked her in this a hell of a lot more than I liked her in Love Actually. Same goes for Rick Grimes as well. This is Pirates of the Caribbean 2, Dead Man's Chest. So Captain Jack and the Black Pearl are trying to get to the Grand Line, right? Or, I'm, or am I getting my pirate lore mixed up? By the way, if we meet a chef in this show that only fights with his feet, I'm, I'm here for it. What the fuck is happening here? Why are you looking sad? Where's Will and his hat? Oh, there he is. Why are you getting arrested, Willie? I think it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. Is that a wedding day? What is this shenanigans? Governor Weatherby Swan, it's been too long. Who's this little fella? It's Lord now, actually. Lord Beckett? The warrant for the arrest of one William Turner. Is that his old man though? Is that bootstrap? This warrant is for Elizabeth Swan. Oh, is it? That's annoying. My mistake. Arrest her. Holy shit. That was a mean joke there, dude. Commodore Norrington resigned his commission some months ago. Oh, Norrington's gone? The charge is conspiring to set free a man convicted of crimes against the Crown and Empire. Oh, I wonder who this might be. <laughs> a pirate named Jack Sparrow. Captain. <laughs> Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. So where's Norrington? Because he was another character I was like, I don't, know, I don't know about this guy. And people in the comments were like, how dare you? <laughs> Yo. Is that his one bullet, by the way? Ah, oh, he's probably got more now. Is he allowed to have more now? Quite the escape there, Captain. You mind if we make a little side trip? Oh. oh. I don't think so. It's... Okay. It wasn't some genius plan to... Well, it was, but he also just hijacked... Not hijacked, hitchhiked in a uh, man's coffin. Quack the play! What did the bird say? Do not blame the bird. <laughs> That bird is still around, Jesus. Oh my god, he's back! Evil monkey, evil monkey, evil monkey! If we don't have the key, we can't open whatever it is we don't oh, have. Oh, this is the key for 
Davy Jones's locker, isn't it? Set sail in a uh, general. What's up with your compass there, Captain? Can I just call him CJ for Captain Jack? We wish for you to act as our agent in a business transaction with our mutual friend, Captain Sparrow. Oh, really? That's how it works. I would like you to go to him and recover a certain property in his possession. Something that happens to belong to you? Jesus, what is the history with them? The Black Pearl, the property you want that he possesses. A ship, hardly. The item in question is considerably smaller and far more valuable. Is it the picture of the key, I'm guessing? Damn, Becca is, uh, pretty damn annoying. Holy shit, that was the thing, the P, the little metal P that he was heating up in the fire. So he's already branded Jack. Um, what the hell is going on there? What is this? Who's this guy? Where did he come from? Bootstrap. Really? It's, um, uh, Barbosa. Your son. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, it is Bootstrap. Okay. And it looked like Jeffrey Rush. It told you, Jack. The time is up. It comes now. Drawn with ravenous hunger to the man what bears. The black spot. What the hell is going on, Bootstrap? So I got from that that they made a deal with Davy Jones to resurrect the Black Pearl? And now... Jack didn't do something and now... Well, he had to return it or something? And the Leviathan is now coming for him? Which port? Didn't say port! I said land! Any land! Ah! Hmm, and there's little monkeys still hanging around. Jack, why are you not telling him about this? So Bootstrap couldn't die because he was part of the curse. So he just was on the bottom of the ocean. Just meh. Just can't, can't go anywhere. These poor bastards. Is it the hat? Is it the hat? <laughs> or are they just wrong place, wrong time? Tortuga. I'll start there and I won't stop searching till I find him. And then I intend to return here to marry you. This is a quite a, um, quite a old timey love story. <laughs> the man has to go off and fight the thing and return to marry his loved one. It's very, very, um, romantic slash cliche slash corny. Jack Sparrow, turn up to Singapore. These people are just sending him on a wild goose chase. I'm sure he deserves it. Is that the Black Pearl or is it just... Oh, it is, it is. This is the land. This is the land. Right, 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 right. I thought it was just some burned out wreck. Anybody? By the way, I take accountability. The last time, in the last movie, I looked at Orlando Bloom and I was like, I've never seen him in anything before. Yeah, I watched Lord of the Rings, all three of them, very recently. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> Please tell me that's not Jack's back hair. Whoa, oh shit. I could do this all day! I could do this all day! Where is... Is he wearing a governor wig? Where is Jack? Where, where, how has he, you know, endeared himself to these people? Oh my god, it's him right there. Fuck it out. <laughs> He's the king of them. Show Tell him to let me down. Kill it, Lom. Lom peaky peaky. Lom meansy weensy. Mm -hmm. Eensy weensy. They're cannibals, aren't they? Lom say say uniki. Simp step. What? Uniki? Oh, wait. They like eating penis, don't they? Save me! Jack! 
Jack, what did you tell them? No! What is going on here, Jack? <laughs> England, the captain is a friend of mine. No! We're just going to find Jack! We cannot count on... Oh, yeah, Governor, come on, man. Just... Although it's a pretty wild-ass plan. But Will is Will. He's... He had a new hat and a cape. He can do this. Even if Will succeeds, do not ask me to endure the sight of my daughter walking to the gallows. Do not. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, you, yeah, can you trust this other guy? He might just pull a switcheroo and not do it. Okay. Is it Gimme Dorrington? Evening, Governor. Yeah, hello, Governor. <laughs> but what the fuck? No doubt you've discovered that loyalty is no longer the currency of the realm, as your father believes. Oh, this is ballsy. I'm listening. Oh. I'm listening intently. Do it. Don't hesitate. You think the compass leads only to the Ile de Murta, and so you hope to save me from an evil fate. But you mustn't worry. The compass points to all different shit. That's why it was going nuts. To ensure Mr. Turner's freedom, then. I'll still want that compass. Consider that in your calculations. This is a very, very intense scene. And Kira Knightley also looks really, really good in this movie. Hey, these dudes! What are you, what are you floating around for? Well, I say it was Divine Providence what escaped us from jail. And I say... Divine Providence, good work. <laughs> Ain't that right, Poochie? I love that. I love that so much. You know you can't read. It's the Bible, you get credit for trying. <laughs> <laughs> Must have seen a catfish. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> It's a great little stunt. Where's the rest of um, Jack Sparrow's crew, by the way? Captain Jack Sparrow. No, oh, what are you doing, man? See, the Pelagostos believe that Jack is a god in human form, and they intend to do him the honor of releasing him from his fleshy prison. Oh, Jesus, that's not good. <laughs> big fire! I am chief! One big fire! He's trying to attract some attention right now, I'm guessing. Using Kira Knightley's trick from the first movie. I think. Well, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Maybe his plan is a little bit more simple. <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh, no. Good work. God, that is insane. Oh my god, it's such a long swing as well. Oh. It's alright, it's alright. The next one will do it. The next one will work. Although you might just hit it way harder as well. Come on, you got this. You got it, you got it, you got it. Come on, man! How the fuck is this gonna work though? Oh, you assholes. <laughs> having a great time. Oh. So that's what happens, huh? Holy shit, I don't know how we got this thing up there, but good work. That is impressive. They should have that as a challenge on gladiators. All right, well done. Roll the cage! Oh, it is gonna be like gladiators. Let's go. Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, they're gonna get down there and... <laughs> Where did he get a knife and fork from? Is this thing broken yet? Fucking hell. Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> what a delicious little... Um... Arrangement we've got there for the the whole god eating ceremony. What? <laughs> That's uncanny. 
kids movie or is he super duper lucky for some reason? <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All the little puns, like just the visual gags with the fruit in that scene. Uh, unexpected, but I enjoyed it. Little hairy thing, give it back! Don't bite him! <gasps> That's his eyeball! Come on, evil monkey. Evil, evil monkey! Time to go. Yep, yep. Let's get this thing in the fucking water, guys. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Just run for the love of God. <laughs> His run is hilarious as well. His arms just flailing. Oh, what? Why are they going after the dog? Come on. <laughs> They think he's the god now? It's dog backwards, I guess. There comes a time when one must take responsibility for one's mistakes. Wow, Jack. Yeah, deserved. William, I shall trade to you the compass if you will help me to find this. Okay, a little bit of a deal, a little bit of a trade skis. How much do you know about Davy Jones? Not much. Yeah, it's gonna save Elizabeth. <laughs> Jack, what was that? <laughs> if you both fancy the dress, you'll just have to share and wear it one after the other. <laughs> yes. It's the ghost of a lady, widowed before her marriage, I figure it. Is it just Kira Knightley? Is that who this is? Yes. <laughs> I want you to search the ship and find her. She's probably naked. <laughs> yeah, Alright, boys. Why the hell are we here, man? Oh, the Leviathan. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Got it, got it. Get it. The Kraken. Oh, it's the Kraken. Are we going to release the Kraken? Is this movie where that phrase comes from? Her. Hi. Oh, is this Jack's ex? Who's her? Dear Dorm and I go way back. Pick his thieves. No, inseparable we are. Jack, you're about to get slapped, aren't you? Mind the boat. Mind the boat. Mind the boat. Ah, mind the boat. <laughs> this poor guy. Bottom of the pecking order. Even below the parrot. You have a touch of destiny about you, William Turner. Mm, okay, okay. You want to know me? There'll be no knowing here. <laughs> There'll be no knowing. <laughs> you know I demand payment. I brought payment. Oh, that's the payment? Oh, well. What is inside? Gold? Jewels? Unclaimed properties of a valuable nature? Nothing. <laughs> Come on. Do you want one of those eyeballs? Maybe we should get one of those eyeballs. Lucky do we in a chest. And hide the chest from the world. The key. He keep with him at all time. Davy Jones' decomposing heart is in this chest? <gasps> the black spot. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> black spot. Black spot. Bootstrap gave it to- Oh, that's why he also needs- oh, Fucking hell. So much has happened in this movie already. <laughs> the first hour of this has been crazy. This is a jar of dirt. Yes. So that works? Alright, whatever. I'm not going to argue. So, the Flying Dutchman. I think that was like a steam train at one point. That's the Flying Dutchman. I'm guessing that was named after Davy Jones' ship and this has got some kind of historical, not legit historical, but like fictional historical relevance. I row over, search the ship until I find your bloody key. And if they're a crewman? I cut down anyone in my path. I like it. Simple, easy to remember. <laughs> it's true. I say Jack Sparrow sent you to settle his death. Might save your life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The ocean at night and a storm? No thanks. That's just all sorts of anxiety. Bring up around to them. There's no use. You run aground. No. Beneath us. How long has he been doing that for? His hands are bleeding. Whoa. 
Wait, what the fuck? Is that like a submarine ship? That's what I thought Jack was on in the very first scene of the first movie. <laughs> when his ship is sinking, I was like, must be a submarine ship. Down on your marrow bones and pray. <laughs> Down on your marrow bones and pray. What is all these undead zombies floating around the ocean? <laughs> Dr. Zoidberg? Whoa. Will your sins punished. <laughs> what is this self-righteous shit? Like, what, are, what, is, what is this guy's damage? Don't listen to him. He's gonna go in hot on the religious guy, isn't he? Do you not fear death? <laughs> <laughs> Some solid PG throat slitting there guys <laughs> oh will sir okay what the hell is this shit this is crazy jack sparrow sent me to settle his debt huh did they know <laughs> oh no But also, what? You've been captain of the Black Pearl for 13 years. Is this Davy Jones? With a poor captain, but a captain nonetheless. Have you not introduced yourself all these years as Captain Jack Sparrow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, repeatedly. Would only be half as crew as actually allowing them to be joined in holy matrimony. I. Okay, you're playing this pretty hard there, Jack. Good work. Can you condemn an innocent man, a friend, to a lifetime of solitude in your name while you roam free? Yep. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think Jack's, Jack's not gonna throw Will to the wolves like that. Okay, so that thing's gone now, but... Oh, I feel sullied and unusual. <laughs> can get souls from Tortuga, can we? Well, I'm sorry. An honest sailor is what I am. I make my living fair and I sleep well each night, thank you. Sir. Oh, it's the ghost of Kira Knightley. <laughs> What's that over there? <laughs> What's that over there? <laughs> Hey, there's a sign. Never sailed a day in my life. I think I should get out and see the world while I'm still young. <laughs> yeah. That's a great, great line. Good cameo, whoever that guy is. Oh, he has to know what he wants, and that's why he can't get the thing to work. Oh, what do you want, Jack? What's going on in there? The pursuit cost me my crew, my commission, and my life. Is this Norrington? Commodore? It is! You're not looking too good, Commodore. What's going on? Hurricane. Lord. You didn't try to sail through it. So do I make your crew. Oh, this is the chase that incurred after the fact. Oh, no. That's unfortunate, then. You're hired. Sorry. Old habits and all that. Easy, sir! That's a hump in your tent! Bar fight! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> I love these, like, just little, um, you know, practical physical gags with all the hats throughout this scene. It's been great. The world done to you. Yeah, Norrington's on hard times, isn't he? When you go chasing a man through a hurricane and you Oh my god! Oh my god, alright. I, I was about to launch into a whole hard times diatribe there, but this is unsettling. Why 
he's got a steam pipe organ in his ship. Secure the last tackle, Mr. Turner! Oh, <gasps> wait. Bootstrap's already there as well? They haven't met? Oh, that turned out okay. What fortuitous circumstance be this? Five flashes beyond, I believe it is. <gasps> he, wow, he is a scumbag, isn't he? He just does not want there to be any love or happiness in the world whatsoever. This is brutal as well. Like, he hasn't seen his son, like, pretty much ever. And the first thing he has to do is whip the absolute hell out of him. Because you're at work together, basically. Oh, that's a, that's a good whipping. I've sworn no oath. Now you must get away. The key. Oh, he is just like a hundred percent coral. And stab the heart. Don't stab the heart. Oh, don't stab the heart. Okay. The Dutchman needs a living heart, or there'll be no captain. <gasps> stab the heart. Let's do it. So the captain has the key. <laughs> Where is the key? I like this Carl man. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, that's a fucking name. Jesus Christ. The captain of the Flying Dutchman. You look bloody awful. What are you doing here? You hired me. <laughs> All I want is to find a way out. Are you certain? Is that what you really want, Mouse? So that's how the compass works. If you really, really want it, it will show you. What contains a still beaten heart of Davy Jones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the visual aid there, buddy. <laughs> My compass is unique. Unique here having the meaning of broken. Harrington, <laughs> go have a drink of water and get some sleep. That is sneaky shit there, Jack. Captain Jack. Although, that's very sneaky. I don't feel like you deserve to be called Captain right now. I mean, I'm sure it's all going somewhere and he's ten steps ahead of me, but, you know. I was recently seen on the island of Tortuga and then left in the company of the known pirate, Jack Sparrow, and other fugitives from... He was there. Why didn't he do something about that? I mean, not that I want him to, but he was there. I personally find it distasteful to even contemplate the horror facing all those on board. What do you want from me? Your authority as governor, your influence in London, and your loyalty to the East India Trading Company. So he's just all business. He's like, come on, get on board with us. I'm guessing he wants him to stay as governor and then just give the East India Trading Company all these benefits and all this, like, look the other way bullshit. Oh, Max, ten years. Agreed. Ten years? What are they wagering? Oh, the only thing we have. Years of service. Ten years? They just rolled on one hand? Ugh. I challenge Davy Jones. Whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> I accept that. <laughs> Play this game. Oh, I know this one though. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, you have to convince them that your number is different to what it really is. Oh no, he's gonna see. Then some stakes though. You can still walk away. <laughs> yes. Come on, Will. I'm impressed with Will right here. Because Davy Jones seems pretty. Oh, hello, Key. He seems pretty um, calculating and intimidating and very, very powerful and in charge. I'm in, matching his wager. What? Seven, five, seven. Oh, has he got a load of dice? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Twelve fives. What? Call me a liar. And be called a liar myself for my trouble. Yes. 
So that's why the old man is joining. You're a liar and you will spend an eternity on this <laughs> ship. Master Turner, feel free to go ashore. Oh, that's how it works? Only one person loses? Yeah, you don't make port very often, do you? It's never about winning or losing. So he doesn't get the key, key. but old mate doesn't have to stay there for eternity, but his dad does. All right. What the hell is that sack on the back of his neck? How the hell are you going to get this thing off? <laughs> Realize we're gonna get some resolution with Will and his old man in this one. Might I inquire as to how you came by these? Persuasion. Friendly? Decidedly not. Will strikes a deal for these and upholds it with honor. Yet you were the one standing here with the prize. Full pardon. Commission is a privateer on behalf of England and the East India Trading Company. Mm, yeah, come on, Norrington. You can help. Sober up and turn this shit up. So you never wondered how your latest fiancé ended up on the Flying Dutchman in the first place? Yeah, Jack is consistent in this movie as he was in the last one. Like, he's so... The audience has to believe that he's at least a little bit good, but all of his actions seem untrustworthy, self-centred, <laughs> completely just... Not with everybody's best interests at heart, but then it kind of always ends up being that way. But I don't know. I still like Jack. Captain Jack. The crew thought it was a spirit bringing some omen of ill fate. He got picked up by this ship. <laughs> and we made a nice bit of profit there. Off the books, of course. Oh, you're off the books now, are you? I thought you were Mr. I'm a legitimate businessman. You will watch this. <laughs> You know what? Bootstrap Bill's put himself in a really, really bad situation. Davy Jones seems to just relish in people's anguish. And the more you have to lose, the more he wants to take from you, you know? Oh! The Kraken is here. <laughs> you did your best, man. Oh no. Oh no. Fucking size of this thing. This is gigantic. That's insane. I love how it just grabs it in the middle and it just buckles right in the center. Oh, that's a digestive system we just seen there. That was quite the escape there. Slick Willy. He must have been claimed by the sea. I am the sea. That's a good one-liner there, but... You need time alone with this. Oh, but it worked. Clearly Davy Jones thinks that he is done. Who told them of the key? Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. <clears throat> <laughs> These two drinking buddies, every time. Captain of a ship, I could in fact perform a mariage. Oh, you can do mariages? Why not? We are very much alike, you and I. I and you. Jack, what are you talking about? <laughs> and there will come a moment when you have a chance to show it. To do the right thing. I love those moments. Hang on, is the compass going to end up leading them to the same place anyway? Because that's where Will's going now? Because I think she told the compass, Will, in, in her head, I think. And gain the rewards that follow. Uh, you won't be able to resist. What is going on here, Kira Knightley? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm proud of you, Jack. <laughs> again, lucky. Luckily that thing like appeared in his hand again. And now she thinks he's... Noble. 
Crotland's there, it's pronounced in the original Scandinavian, and Kraken's closer to that. <laughs> this doesn't work. And it certainly doesn't show you what you want most. You're sitting on it. My pardon? Move. It's Kira Knightley's butt. <laughs> They are here. Yeah, yeah, they're all going to the same place now. Yeah. What do you boys make of that? <laughs> Good move. This is the chest. The one with Davy Jones still beating heart in it. Oh, there's the chest. With a big picture of a heart on the side. That's the one. Let's go. See some tentacles on there. Definitely the one we're looking for. Mavon heartbeat. Lock it in. How did you get here? Sea turtles, mate. A pair of them strapped to my feet. <laughs> I believe him. Can't let you do that, will you? Because if Jones is dead, who's to call his terrible beastie off the hunt, eh? Oh. Um... Is the beastie just looking for you, Jack? Because I feel like... Okay, I'm not going to say that. Jack Sparrow fans will want my head on a stick. I can't let you do that either. So sorry. I knew you'd warm up to me eventually. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, and Elizabeth is just like, uh, do you mind? Guard the chest. No. <laughs> Let's just pull out our swords and start banging away at each other. That's <laughs> Each wants the chest for himself, don't it? Mr. Norrington, I think, is trying to regain a bit of honour. Old Jack's looking to trade it, save his own skin. And Turner there, I think he's trying to settle some unresolved business twixt him and his twice cursed pirate father. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, are you gonna pretend to faint again? <laughs> Wait, I just realized Will was fighting off both of them because, yeah, Norrington is trying to help Jack. Nope, clearly not. Fuck, what did I miss there? Jesus Christ. I'm not with it today. I really aren't. Really, really aren't. Really not. <laughs> Jack, really uh, sneaky, good move, but damn. Saw fit to freeze said pirate and take your dearly beloved all to itself. Hey, <laughs> so whose fault is... Uh, Norrington did, like, give up Elizabeth pretty, um, willingly. <laughs> this is a bit foreboding, is it? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh my god, that was a great little shot. <laughs> These guys, what are you doing, boys? Edo Poppin. Yeah, of course. These these have a history, don't they? <laughs> are we gonna get to see Kira Knightley dual wielding pirate swords in this? Well, not, but she's wielding him right now, but... You know what I mean? Ah! Ah! You know what I mean? Ah! Oh my god, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Alright, Jack, what are you doing? I feel like Jack, he doesn't want Davy Jones out there. I know he has to get him to call off the thing, but... Oh, God, that's gross. Really? Oh. I mean, good plan. How long does that thing survive... in your jacket pocket, though? You at? You want to come and help your fiance fight this army of crustacean men? You don't get credit for that, Will. It was an accident. Mm, no, 
Warrington, figuring it out, huh? <laughs> Whoa, hey! Warrington, that's pretty goddamn noble of you. Especially since he suspects that there's nothing in it. I shall pry the chest away from your cold, dead hands. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck just happened there? Yo. Hey, come on, yeah. The aesthetic of Davy Jones' crew is really, really good. I love the whole coral, creepy coral effect. It looks great. Where's the Commodore? Oh. Fell behind. My prayers be with him. Oh, and that's their, that's their code or whatever. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? Enough. Oh, shit. Again, Davy Jones just trying to take happiness away from people. If you're sentimental about something, fuck you, he doesn't want you to have it. Come on, bootstrap, what are you gonna do? Help us out. They're giving up! Yeah! No, they're summoning the Kraken. Where is it? Where is it? No guns! Defend the man! It'll attack the starboard! I've seen it before! Run out the cannons and hold for my signal! Yeah, at least, yeah, Will can help him in this one. Fucking hell, the Kraken... And I like the fact that we've already seen the Kraken destroying ships in this movie up to this point as well. Like, we know how devastating this thing is. You need those things to get further out of the water so you can um, take them out further, cl like closer to the bottom. That way they're more disabled. Just marvel at my nautical navy battle dialogue expertise. Whatever you do, don't miss. As soon as you're clear. Damn, so Will's gonna be the one to kill the Kraken? Jack, you owe him. You owe him. There's only half a dozen kegs of powder! Then load the rum! How dare you? <laughs> Not good. Jeez. Hey! Hey! Feels like you're being paid for it! <laughs> you know what's weird about this Kraken? It goes after the people. It doesn't just want to, like, take the ship down. It's like into the interior and like going after individuals <laughs> what do you want most do you want to help your friends oh <laughs> great cliffhanger moment <gasps> you hesitated what are you doing Still not fully sure how this is supposed to, like, work, though. How this is supposed to, like, take out the Kraken. Oh, Jack's back. Jump, Will, jump! Lucky shot. Again, luck! And that's all it takes? Kraken dead? No. We just made it angry. Oh, oh you guys are in trouble then. He's right, we have to head for land. It's a lot of open water. It's a lot of water. So now Jack is done with the pearl? Well, not done with it, but he's not gonna fight for it? He's up with the relationship between those two. Prepare to cast off! There's no time to lose! Why did she just start sucking face with Captain Jack? Is he going down with the ship? Wow. I'm very confused with this dynamic still. 
Was that scene just because the producers are like, well, the mums seem to really like Jack Sparrow. In fact, they fetish us and we better show him snogging somebody in this movie? Go! She's the captain now. Okay. Good plan, I guess. Oh, the leathery ones. Okay. What do you got, Captain? Are you going in? What do you think about this, Davy Jones? Where you at? Yeah, here he is. Not even Jack Sparrow can best the devil. Open the chest. Yeah, wait, where's the heart though? Did Norrington get it when he ran off? Damn you, Jack Sparrow! Oh, I forgot about this twat. I took the liberty of filling in my name. Wow, wow Norrington. The heart of Davy Jones. I mean, yeah, I didn't expect that that's where Norrington would end up going. I don't know where the hell he went, but I guess that's in character for him to then go back and try and, you know, um, restore his reputation with the, uh, with the government. Oh, this is just our safe haven? You know what? It's safe. Nobody can get there. The Pearl's gone. Along with its captain. You fooled us all right till the end. But I guess that honest streak finally won out. Mm, yeah. I mean, she did kind of murder him, didn't she? And these people love him, so... If there was anything could be done to bring him back. That's not what she's upset about, bro. <laughs> Will you sail to the ends of the earth and beyond to fetch back witty Jack and impress your spirit? What are you suggesting here? That if you go and brave the weird and haunted shores at world's end. World's end? Weird and haunted? Alright, let's do it. <gasps> Barbosa. What's become of my ship? Oh my god, and the evil monkey is back as well. And he's got his apple. Of course he does. <laughs> monkey. Oh god. Alright. Okay, Barbosa returns. I'm down with that. Have we got another after credit scene? Is the monkey going to get more evil in this one? And a lot of people in the uh, comments of my last one say that they didn't even know there was an after credit scene in the first movie, but... I always check. You never know. Nick Fury's going to show up and recruit someone to the Avengers. It's going to happen one day. Oh, we're back with these guys? What's going on here? Who is their god now? Oh, <laughs> of course it is. Are they going to try and eat him though? Or is this the godlike body that he will remain in? Okay, a lot of story in this movie. I think the first one was a bit better just because it was like introducing a lot of these concepts this one was still very entertaining and very uh, engaging but it was a lot of story like we found out more about the pearl we found out a, a lot about bootstrap i mean davy jones's whole um story and everything like that there was just a lot of like world building and lore and stuff that we were explained in this particular movie. Davy Jones is a great villain. He is a very, very like, um, he's just so sinister and devoid of all joy is the best way to describe him. Like he just, he just wants to take everything away from anybody that loves anything. And then visually that whole crew, including especially Davy Jones, all just look creepy and it's got this ocean aesthetic and it works so well and just great visual effects in this movie some of the kraken scenes didn't look too good um but i, I guess the kraken we haven't seen the last of that we just made it angry and wounded it but from the sounds of things so i'm looking forward to more kraken showing up in a future pirates of the caribbean movie norrington's journey was good as well um i i would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the um events that happen between 
the first movie and this one for Norring Norrington especially they explained what he was like because they said to the pirates we'll give you a couple of days head start or whatever it was and then it sounds like Norrington got swept up in a hurricane and you know was unable to continue or something like that that somehow got him out of the uh, the navy so great to see that character back in a different sort of world and I'm quietly curious to see what he does in the next one the the little guy the little guy Beckett I think his name was is he the little tiny man from Pride and Prejudice as well Mr I can't remember his name but he was the one who was like desperately trying to get married to one of the the sisters and nobody liked him they just kept avoiding him and he was really annoying I, I think it was meant to be like Oh, well, look at this ugly man. So they just got like a short guy. And they're like, ah, ha, ha, look how ugly he is, pretty much. I think that's the same guy. Let me know in the comments if it was or not. The eldest Miss Bennet has captured my special attention. <laughs> oh, no. Don't go with this guy. Aren't they cousins? Didn't he start by saying which one of my cousins made this food? So Collins wanted the blonde. And instead, the mum's like, take Kira Knightley instead. Yeah? Yeah. Glad to see my little monkey friend is hanging around. He didn't have much of a role in this, but now he's reunited with Barbosa at the end. So I'm very uh, keen to see where that's all leading as well. So again, a lot of world building, like um, Barbosa and Jack now are a thing. Obviously Jack's coming back at some point. I guess that's what the next movie is, is doing whatever they need to do to get him back to life. Because he just walked into the Kraken's mouth. So I don't know if that was a self-sacrifice or if there's more to it than that but i enjoyed this movie probably not as much as i enjoyed the first one but i think the first one was just quite special just everything about it was really good oh the two um guys i always forget their name the one with the wooden eye and his mate they were great in this movie as well i like the characters that we retained from the first one and got to continue their journey as well so the other thing that i noticed with this that was I, I don't know where i've heard it before it's like a filmmaking um theology or th uh, like strategy or something like that where if you're gonna have a trilogy everything needs to be terrible at the end of the second one i think it's something to do with star wars that would be the empire strikes back movie i think the middle one where at the end like everything is just complete shit i feel like they've done this with the pirates of the caribbean series as well jack's gone there's a lot of tension between uh will and elizabeth and now i, I guess barbosa being back is that a good thing or not am i onto something with that let me know in the comments your thoughts on how this movie ended and just the tone and the note that this movie ended because i'm sure at this point they obviously knew that there was going to be another one coming up after it and is this one of the first examples of like really really long term maybe not the first example because you've got stuff like uh, back to the future and things like that but like in terms of like just like a big hollywood picture having a lot of foreshadowing it because they know that there is going to be future movies for this not just foreshadowing of little things but like massive events because i guess what trilogies out there have been trilogies from the first movie i mean I don't even think Back to the Future was, but they, in the second movie, they really turned it up. But I don't know. Interesting question. Let me know in the comments. Movie nerds, sound off. Let me know. But I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already and go to patreon.com slash FWCI if you want to watch the full length version of this reaction, as well as Taskmaster, Brooklyn, Shits, bunch of other stuff, movie polls. That's where it's at. Five dollar redos. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.